Today I learned a hexagon has eight sides. The disappointment I felt when I realized that at least 6,700 plus people don't know that a stop sign is a hexagon and not an octagon. Someone didn't watch the Jack Black Sesame Street episode. I draw the line and is spreading misinformation. Check the facts before you look like red and uh, check what you've typed before you post. That's a tortoise. Turtles live in water. Nope, all tortoises are turtles. Not all turtles live in water. You you are so wrong. Tortoises have more rounded and domed shells, where turtles have thinner, more water dynamic shells. Turtle shells are more streamlined to aid in swimming. One major key difference is that tortoises spend most of their time on land, and turtles are adapted for life spent in water. All tortoises are in fact turtles, that is, they belong to the order Testudines or Shelonia. Reptiles having bodies encased in a bony shell, but not all turtles are tortoises. Britanna Br Britan Britannica. Fact. God has never made a single drop of alcohol. The Earth has never produced a single drop of alcohol. 100% of all wine and alcohol is manufactured by fallen men. Nothing good ever comes out of alcohol. Hashtag alcohol, hashtag wine. Readers added context. Jesus turned water into wine. Source, the Bible. Bible.com. Red blood cells are not real cells. Yes, because even if we disregard non-human cells in the body like bacteria, most human cells by number are mature red blood cells, which do not have a nucleus and therefore no DNA. <laughs> you think red blood cells are actually cells? <laughs> uh, yes. Are you really suggesting that they are not? Lol, they aren't by definition. They don't have uh, organelles and a nucleus and don't divide. It's literally just an oxygen transport. No, we eradicated it, asshole. No, smallpox will kill you, dumbass. Literally never seen a smallpox case in my life. Another fake disease to be scared of? <laughs> Tea is not made from coffee beans, therefore it is not a coffee. Well, you're not from the US and you still speak English, so same thing. I'm from England, and so I speak English. No, you speak British. I'm French, not stupid. USA was made in 1776. You think the English language didn't exist before then? Definitely read some tidbit about it somewhere, but now they think they're an expert on it. You should look into what a calorie actually is. They determine a calorie by combusting food in a device called a bomb calorimeter by measure how much of that particular food they need to burn to raise the temperature of one gram of water one degree Celsius. Okay, now you tell me what that has to do with human nutrition? Does your body burn food to raise your body temperature? And is that how we metabolize food? Lycanthrope doesn't mean werewolf. It means a person that changes into an animal man. It might also be just an animal person, but classically meant a were-rat, were-bear, werewolf, etc. That becomes a half-animal or full animal under certain circumstances, such as a full moon. Google says Oxford Dictionary, lycanthrope, a werewolf. Also, the guy is hairy like a werewolf in the comic. Then they link a forgotten realmsfandom.com thing. I link Oxford Dictionary. You link Forgotten Realms.fandom wiki. You win. I showed an example of what I said. I win. Lycanthropy literally comes from the name of the f***ing King of Wolves in Greek mythology. It's literally a king's name. He was turned into a wolf, a person who turned into an animal. Try Google. Lycanthrope, which traces back through Latin to a Greek combination of like from lycos, meaning wolf, and anthropos, meaning human being. Hmm. Excuse me, are you stupid? The UK isn't a country. Yes, it is, dumbass. There's a capital each for Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, but London is the capital of the UK and England. Northern Ireland. Just say Ireland. Seriously? There's Ireland the country and Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK. Different things. Northern Ireland is part of Ireland. The last comment is technically true. Northern Ireland is part of the island of Ireland. This isn't the whole thing. They meant politically and stuff. I know they weren't taking the actual location. Give it time. When I was six, my sister was half my age. Now I'm 70. How old's my sister? 35. Let's have a hard one next time, please. Funny you say that, but no one has ever directly observed a germ. They might as well be black magic. They've never been proven. I've seen bacteria, viruses, and parasites over the years. That's what happens when you spend years in a medical microbiology laboratory setting. You tend to see these things on a regular basis. Have you ever seen one without the aid of a microscope? No, because you can't see it without one, you goddamn idiot. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did. I, we're going to move on. I'm going to take a deep breath. Look, if you want to see one without a microscope that bad, just look in a mirror. Australia has 
one state. Because they have 50 states that are the size of most countries, very vague to say that you're from one of basically 50 country-sized states, eh? I'm from Europe would be a near equivalent. So do you think it would be vague to say you're from Australia? Australia has one state, and yeah, I'd probably want to know what bit because it's all vastly different. And they link some Wikipedia. This American thinking America wrote the dictionary. Bruh, we wrote the dictionary, be quiet. The most used dictionary in the world is the Oxford English Dictionary. It is also the most used in America and the one that Harvard University asks its students to use. The Oxford English Dictionary is written by professors at Oxford University in Oxford, England, and is published by Oxford University Press, also in Oxford, England. Also, the first ever dictionary was Robert Codry's Table Alphabetical written in 1604 and published in London, England. I can prove .999 doesn't exist. Step 1, .999 dot 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 equals 110. My unemployed boyfriend claims he has a simple proof that breaks mathematics. Can anyone verify this proof? I honestly think he might be crazy, copying and pasting the text he sent me. According to mathematics, .999 equals 1, but this is false. I can prove it. 0.999 equals one. Uh, I, I I don't know how to read any of this. I hate math. Uh, that means 0.999 must be a fake number because having 0.999 existing will break the foundations of mathematics. I'm dumbfounded. No one has ever realized this. Edit. I texted him what was said in the top comment, pointing out his mistakes. He instantly dumped me. Damn. He, he was a little. He was a little uh, butthurt about that one, huh? Time to find a new boyfriend. I can prove that. Racist doesn't realize Al Boli was South African while complaining about Africans. England and the US were such lovely places before they became Africanized. Al and Demonia did a terrific job here. Africa was doing just fine before the English turned up. You should look up Mr. Bowley's early life and how African it actually was. Running is way more mental than physical. Most humans on Earth physically can easily run a seven to eight minute mile. They're just mentally not strong enough to do so. If you're a teen or college-aged man, running a six minute mile is possible for most. In this situation, you'll be dead if you don't run, so the mental barrier is non-existent. Now, nah, the average person's physical cardiovascular endurance is not that good. It's not a mental thing. You've gotten off lucky. The smugness is killing me. Are you actually serious? Yes, there is no such thing as an asexual human. A Asexuals aren't going to be any less real no matter how many times you say this. YouTube is preventing me from educating you further on this, so you've gotten off lucky. All that nonsense is a bunch of quirky zoomers that don't want to do admit to being incompatible with most of the people they meet. Not being able to name at least five African countries is wild, Lamau. Let me try. Egypt, Uganda, South Africa, Congo, Nigeria, Rwanda. LMFAO bro said South Africa. That ain't a country, that's a direction. A plus B equals three. A plus B plus C equals six. A plus B plus C times four equals question mark. A equals one, B equals two, C equals three. One plus two plus three times four equals 15. You failed math. One plus two equals three, three plus three equals six, six times four equals 24. That's no moon. Exploring the universe from a backyard in Arizona, astrophysics Photographer Andrew McCarthy captured the International Space Station slipping across the moon's face, gently kissing the Tycho Crater. That's no moon. It's a space station. It's a space station passing in front of a moon, so eager to troll you can't bother to find out what you're trolling. Typical Jackaloon. Jackaloon is a new one in me. I think I'll use it. Meanwhile, in your eagerness, you may have missed this. To be fair, not many people have seen that movie. For those who clearly don't know basic multiplication in math, me, 3 plus 2 equals 5, and 5 times 3 equals 15, therefore 3 plus 2 times 3 equals 15. Update on what they said after I told them it is not 15, me. I can tell you that it is not 15. Them, source, me, tons of textbooks, calculators, websites, being a math major, them. Dude, I said basic, not advanced math. What you are talking about is advanced math, not basic math. Advanced math and basic Basic math are just two different ways to do math. <laughs> How hard is that to understand? I'm an idiot and I get that. Why does he wear a swimming cap on stream? It's not a swimming cap. Oh yes it is, and even if not, it still makes him look like a douche. Really embarrassing to be so confidently wrong. Birds are dinosaurs, crocodiles are not. 
There are a few literal dinosaurs left like crocodiles and alligators and more in the ocean, but all surviving ones are in the ocean. Those aren't dinosaurs. It has to do with the formation of the hip joint and leg positioning. Crocs sprawl and dinosaur's legs were directly under their bodies. You have no idea what you were talking about. Go do some research. Yes, they are considering living dinosaurs. They are a lot smaller now than they were back then, but they are the oldest living creature known to humans. Crocodiles are not dinosaurs. Blue check musk stan, a tail in four parts. The original owner of the X handle says Twitter took it without paying. They offered him merch and a tour of the office. Dude, I'd be livid if they took that from me. <laughs> this is Cap via Telegraph, yet there's no article saying this. And there it is. New former owner of X handle tells me he didn't sell the account. Twitter just took it essentially. They offered some merchandise in a meeting and it's on Telegraph. Read the article. The previous owner of the X account didn't say any of this, Lamau. Quote, some merch and to meet with management if I like, Huang told me referring to what the company did offer him in its email. It's unclear if the swag would be Twitter or X related. Oh well, guess that's how it goes, Huang said. Balloons are made of plastic. Unnecessary plastic waste, OP. Balloons are filled with air, not plastic, and balloons themselves are made of rubber, and that many will probably fit in one or two trash bags, which is tiny compared to how much trash the con generates just from unclaimed freebies. I have spoken. <laughs> you spoke wrongly. Balloons are made of latex more often than not. Latex is the stabilized, vulcanized sap from a tree. Your shiny, flat, and novelty number balloons are made of mylar, which is a plastic, but your run-of-the-mill floating inverted teardrop is not plastic, and does eventually biodegrade. Not great for the environment, and still a hazard for wildlife. Sea turtles are known for mistaking them for jellyfish, for example, but not plastic. A lot of things are called rubber, some of which are plastic. Silicone, polyurethane, neoprene, nitrile? Nitrile? Uh, all rubbers of a sort and classed as plastics, latex is indeed a notable exception, and humans have been using it significantly longer. I have spoken. <laughs> Tenant was using my Netflix. Confidently, incorrectly asserts sharing is allowed. Netflix was working yesterday and other days. Today it is asking to set up a new account. I'm amazed it ever worked. Netflix doesn't permit a single account being shared between households. I don't even use my account. My mother does. I basically pay for it for her. Netflix isn't included in the rent, Lamau. Ha ha ha, really. It has been working, but today it is not. And yes, you can share Netflix account. Of course you can. I mean, yeah, you can share your Netflix account. Netflix Netflix doesn't want you to, but f them. Tetanus comes from cow manure, and if you get cut, just let it bleed. That will naturally clean it, soap and water, you're good. Tetanus comes from Clostridium tetany, which can be present in manure, and no, that is not the most efficient way to prevent tetanus. Sorry, wrong, nothing can enter your bloodstream if you let it bleed. You don't need poison in your body to stop anything, immune system is amazing. Fun fact one, not every injury bleeds. Fun fact two, not every bleeding completely cleanses the wound. Fun fact three, Clostridium tetany doesn't even need to enter the bloodstream to produce tet tetanospasmin. I'm sorry, these are some big words for my little brain. I feel like it's toxic and actually causes skin cancer and Big Pharma lied to us saying the sun causes skin cancer. Did George Washington have skin cancer? No. Did they have sunscreen? Nope. George Washington literally had skin cancer. Google it. It was removed in June of 1794 by Dr. James Tate. Dude, having cancer in the 70s 1700s? You, you must have to count your lucky stars to be healed from that. The question was, what's the answer to 3 plus 3 times 3? It's the audacity of the nice try, though, for me. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. How the fuck is it 12? The way she said it could have been 12 or 18. We don't have an efficient way to verbalize parentheses, but the pause kind of made it seem like the x3 was separated. 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 plus 3 is 12. The question is 3 plus 3 times 3, not 3 times three plus three. Nice try, though. I've learned to avoid those kind of Facebook posts like the plague. They infuriate me. Even the people who know PEMDAS and comment the correct answer do it so proudly or even with smug, like, congrats, you got an entry-level math question right. Bro added the face palm emoji and everything and commented the same comment twice to two different people. For all the medicated Barbies out there, this Barbie takes Zoloft, this Barbie takes Welbutrin, this Barbie takes Lazapro, this Barbie takes Vivance. <laughs> 
Where the f is Seroquel? Zoloft is the other name for Seroquel. It's literally the first one on there. Seroquel is a fairly intense antipsychotic. Zoloft is an antidepressant. It's actually the opposite. A cool guide to what blood groups you can or can't receive. Asshole O negative can receive from everyone, but can't give to anyone. Humans are not animals. If you actually had brain cells, you would know. Austin is home to nearly 10% of the homeless population in the entire United States. 94% of statistics quoted on Reddit are made up. 550,000 homeless in America, almost 5,000 in Austin. Do the math, genius. You move the decimal point twice to make 10% into 0.10. What happens when you move the decimal point twice in 550,000? That's right, 5,500. Or at least that's the only way I can see them coming up with 10% of 550,000 is 5,500 instead of 55,000. By the CI's reasoning, Los Angeles has 160% of the remaining homeless population. How does easy mode not make things easy. There's even a inbuilt easy mode. Yeah, with Toadette and Nabbit. Would you say Super Mario Bros. 3 is easy because you can give yourself infinite P-Wing with a game genie? Having an easy mode doesn't make the game easy. That's the literal point of an easy mode. An easy mode doesn't make a game easy, else it wouldn't need to have an easy mode. Then what does easy mode do? Lil bro, I'm gonna need you to tell me what easy mode does. Dictionary? I never heard of it. It doesn't make sense to tip somebody anything because it is done to ensure prompt service. You received no prompt service, but in fact, that person made you a bigger problem. To ensure prompt services. What are you insuring? Because it seems to me it's not spelt teps. Also, ensure is to compensate, ensure is to make something the case. Not sure how you came up with that one. LOL. Reading comprehension. Jesus. Saying it affects 1% of the people abusing the glitch is not synonymous with saying 1% of people play hardcore. Hyperbolic example to reflect the principle was the issue. The people have spoken. It's done. Affects. It's actually effect. I could see how you'd become confused, though. Nice try. Effect is most commonly used as a noun, meaning a result or consequence, as in cause and effect. Change was made. Negatively affected people changed back. You're not smart. Yeah, no, it's, it is A F F E C T. Effect. Lol, they don't know what a noun is either, apparently. Morgan Freeman. But he did go there. This hurts my brain. Pretty sure that guy would turn the one syllable name Aaron into a three syllable name A. -A Aaron. One syllable? Are you having a stroke? Two. Don't go there, or you are going to be featured in this group. Maybe that's what you want? Seriously? I thought you were kidding. Aaron is two syllables. I'll die on this hill. Post it. At me in the post. I don't want to watch the roasting. Change your mind? Customer leaves review for new restaurant. One out of five stars. First time trying this place. Never again again. Found a huge piece of plastic in my food. Looks like the handle of something broke off. Obviously threw everything away in case there were smaller pieces. Hi there, Blank. Thanks for your review. I'm sorry to hear that experience. By looking at the photo, we can tell that it's not a piece of plastic, but a cinnamon stick that we use as a spice in one of our dishes that we cook. Please call us if you'd like to discuss this more with us. I'd be more than happy to hear your concerns and sort this out with you. He couldn't figure out this basic math rule, even after the website he linked proved him wrong. This means less than five. This means more. Edit, how are you all so dumb? And they link to the thing. This one is defined as the greater than sign. This is defined as the less than sign. Replacing the signs with words, you said greater than five means less than five. Five greater than means more. Your second example of this would be that five is greater than the number to the right. You must not have read the website you linked to. It says this is greater than the number on on the left is greater than the number on the right, three greater than two. You are simply just wrong, so confidently wrong. Wrong. Look it up, lol. I did. You are wrong. OP is the kind of person who thinks spraying someone with a hose is assault, lol. It literally is. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. I've seen a few history books, let's just say that. Sorry, but milk isn't dairy. Cheese is dairy. You try so hard to get it right when you're wrong. It's pathetic. Milk is considered dairy in at least six countries I've lived in. How is it not dairy? Because this is America. In America, we do things the right way. You know, people already think all Americans are stupid. I mean, a lot of us are, but you're not helping us look any less stupid. They are literally called dairy cows. Yeah, but cows make cheese and milk different udders for different products. Read a book. Yes, but for some reason, they don't ever make cheese from the strawberry or chocolate cows. She didn't start a physical altercation. She threw a glass of wine in your face. There is no physical contact between you and her at that point. I know you think you had a gotcha there, but yes, John Cena would be a p for attacking someone over getting a glass of wine thrown in his face. You are an idiot, ma'am. That's like saying, hey, I shot someone, but I didn't kill them. The bullet did. And who pulled the trigger, hmm? 